Hey Internet, it's your old friend Dominic here with the All American Casino Guide. And if you're new here, we're a channel dedicated to providing you with all those tips, tricks, tutorials, and trivia you need to know about casinos and casino games. Now in our previous video we did in this series, we were reviewing um, a long session of late night uh, Texas Hold'em that myself and a number of the uh, All-American Casino Guide crew uh, did during this uh, social distancing period. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and take a look at some poker hands and I'll try to give you some of my expert advice or at least some funny observations about things that happened in the hand. All right, so it uh, looks like this hand, I have nine, ten, nine, nine queen on suit with diamonds. That's pretty good. James has four, two on suit with hearts. Uh, Vendrick has six, four off suit. Um, Alicia's got a pair of fives. That's, that's decent. I love fives. It's my lucky number. I know it's a crap rank to have. It's beaten by so many other hands. But five for me is a lucky number. Um, and, uh, I mean, it's a prime number. It's the number of fingers you have. Um, it just, it stacks so well. It's so mathematically just such a pure number. That's why I love it so much. And then Adam, the hungry Hungarian, um, has nine queen on suit. So this is gonna be interesting. Adam is really, I, I, I really, when I first met him, I underestimated him as a player. So let's go ahead and see how this uh, action goes. So I'm the first to act here in this hand. Um, so let's see here what I do. Um, I mean, I'm going to call, hope I don't do something stupid like raise. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to call the big blind. Looks like everyone wants to call the big blind. Robert, even Robert wants to call. Um, so, okay. Looks like two Kings come out right off the bat. Uh, and, uh, so that's concerning for me. Um, I am four diamonds to the flush which is certainly um, a nice place to be at the flop. Uh, but unfortunately, two diamonds. Oh, there we go. Five diamonds. Five diamonds, baby. All right. So that's that's pretty good. And I even have a good um, high card with my, my, my high diamond being the queen. Let's see how I play this hand out, um, if I play it out at all. Uh, okay. So this is now it's finally my betting opportunity. I hope I don't do something stupid like just check. Um, I hope, okay, I was smart enough to bet a thousand. Um, see, James is going to probably, we have James folds, uh, Vendrick folds, uh, Alicia calls with her two pair, uh, okay, her, now it's, her two pair improved to kings and sevens versus they were just kings and fives before. I mean, I'm still, uh, got the, got the flush, uh, the, the king high flush, so I'm going to try to take as much money off Alicia as I can. I don't know why I only bet a thousand here. I don't know what I was concerned about. Um, so I won that hand. That's the way you do it. Um, it whenever you can have a flush at um, the flop or the turn, that is a great place to be with respect to the uh, slow playing and just you know commanding a hand. But you have to understand you're not out of the woods yet. So don't don't be too cocky. You know, don't be too cocky, kid. You definitely want you definitely want to uh, be smart. Um, all right, so here's the next hand. I'm gonna pause this here for a second. All right, so it looks like I on this hand uh, in the big blind. I have Jack five, um, James with eight queen off suit, Vendrick six king off suit, nine queen off suit for Alicia, and six seven off suit. So it's like nobody's paired up here. Nobody's on suit. We're just all over the place. So this is gonna be a real interesting hand to watch how each player actually plays their hand. Um, I think, I, I honestly don't think anyone here doesn't have a hand worth a hundred dollars though. Uh, at least a, you should, a big, a big hand, a big blind hand, as I call it, you know, a hand worth paying the big blind just to see a flop. Um, let's see, uh, six, seven off suit. And it's option goes to me. I don't know what I'm thinking. Okay, good. Uh, so here comes the ace, four, and two of diamonds. This is really concerning for me at this point, I'm sure, because I have no diamonds. Um, but of course, as we discussed earlier, neither does really anybody else. Um, the closest we have here would be James and Alicia. 
But uh, nobody has anything right now. This is a really interesting hand to look how we're actually... Pay attention to just the betting strategies at this point. So um, it looks like we took some checks from Adam, checks from me. Uh, it looks like James is going to check probably too. Yeah. Uh, is 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 vet every See, when everyone checks her on the board, that's usually a good indication that nobody had anything or somebody really screwed up their opportunity to place a bet. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, poker is a game that requires a, a good amount of memory um, so that you can be able to uh, identify how people act from one hand to the other or even just one round of betting the other. So now I paired up my jack even though there are three diamonds out, because nobody bet heavy in the last round. I feel confident enough to make that $1,000 bet. Um, and then, there, <laughs> of course, here comes the river, and it's the king of diamonds, which James has already fallen out of the hand for my $1,000 bet. Alicia is going to take all my money. Uh, uh, she checks! She checks with an ace high flush! Alicia, what is wrong with you? You need to be aggressive. Oh, you're just, I think she's just happy having a hand. That's, that's sweet. That's really sweet. She's just happy to be, in, to be there playing poker with us. All right, so then the following hand, she gets a massive pair of kings. That just jumps right off uh, the, the table at me. So um, let's see, let's look around here. Uh, I have 9-3 off suit just garbage and the only player with worse garb i mean even james he's got nine two which is technically more garbage but at least it's on suit with spades king five with with robert's got king five again i talk I, I i love fives i talked about that before but like king five that's my stupid hand like i everyone's entitled to that one stupid hand that they play you shouldn't you sh it's a hand that you shouldn't play uh i i, I i'm always curious what players um stupid hand is uh it you, you can't say like when i ever people like you know what's your favorite stupid hand to play people who like tell me like oh i like aces i'm like that's not a stupid hand to play you know like i king five is a really stupid hand to play not even on suit i don't care um but technically speaking my stupid hand to play um is the king of spades and the five of hearts that is my hand if i see the king of spades and the five of hearts oh you better believe I'm playing the hand. You better believe it. All right, so um, it looks like Adam's got three jack, and he's the first to act here on this hand. Um, all right, so let's see what he's doing. What is he doing? He's gonna he's gonna call the big blind. He's gonna because you know you never know. You never know until you know, right? Until you get the flop, uh, and there you go. He gets top pair. He pairs up a pair of jacks, but of course he doesn't know. That Alicia's already got a pair of kings. And, uh, all right, so there's three clubs to the flush there for uh, Robert. Um, so Adam goes ahead and makes a nice little token wager of 283. I think that's more of a feeler bet at this point. I mean, he, he really, he, he, I mean, he's the chip stack leader at this point. I mean, I don't know what he's thinking. So the first option goes, okay, checks. And Alicia, uh, hopefully she's going to make a bet at this point, or else this pot is not, she's not even going to, she might win the pot, but there's not going to be any money in it. Um, so I hope, uh, yeah, a hundred? That's, that is like the most token of token bets there could possibly be. She, I just want to make a bet. Uh, all right, and then Vendrick decides to go all in. I don't know what exactly he's hoping for here. Um, I guess he's hoping for a queen. That's what he's hoping for, because uh, he's got four. I mean, he the only card that's going to help him is with that straight is a queen right now, uh, and he gets that pair of sixes, and uh, of course Alicia reveals her pair of kings, which trumps over the the broken Canadian straight of uh, Robert, and uh, just obliterates the pair of jacks that uh, J that uh, Adam was holding. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the next hand here. Uh, it looks like Adam's got the big AK off suit, of course. Uh, eight six for me. Um, that's a real bad hand. Queen five off suit for James and Jack ten on suit clubs for Robert. Uh, that's pretty good. 
Alicia with five seven. She's the big blind, and she's off suit as well. Um, okay, so overall chip leader though, of course, is Adam. I, like I told you, I really I've said this before, but I really underestimated Adam as a as a poker player. Um, and uh, underestimating someone is a dangerous thing to do. Um, so don't assume just because someone is uh, relatively less experienced than yourself that uh, in some way, shape, or form, that means you're automatically going to beat them. It's, it, at the end of the day, it does come down to large amounts of luck in this game. Okay, so we got uh, at the flop two queens and a three. So that looks like now James is probably pooping in his trousers because he's got three queens. I would at least. I mean, you're not even going to be... The only thing you'd be more concerned about is if someone maybe has like a pair of threes and right now is or has the other queen and a three, you know, has that full house right now. So it looks like a whole lot of checking going on. Uh, I'm I'm very happy at this point to get the check. I I don't even know why I'm even considering a bet. Um, free cards, you know, if you can get free cards, you can see more cards without putting more of your money on the table. Um, that's a great feeling. Uh, but of course, if you have the hand, you want to make them pay to see more cards. It's, it's, it's a real weird inverse rule. You know, you got you to gotta pay attention to that. So Adam making me pay to see another card, um, I decide not to. I fold out this hand. Uh, and now James is in the uh, position to go ahead. And I mean, he's got to be a little bit concerned about that ace. So he's not going to bet the farm. Uh, okay, Adam calls the thousand he bet. Checking, checking, nobody, oh, okay, James throws another $1,000 bet out there, and he wins it. Uh, I mean, there's not much to say about that hand. When you have three queens uh, on the flop, uh, you just play it until it's pretty obvious that somebody else has the potential of having a better hand. Um, I mean, when, whenever I see a pair on the table, I always get concerned about a full house. Um, and if you're not concerned about a full house, then you're doing this wrong. Um, the only game where you should be more concerned about a full house is if you're playing Omaha. But of course, we're playing Texas Hold'em. So anyway, let's take a look at this hand here. I got Jack 6 uh, off suit. Then we got Jack 5 with James uh, also off suit. Uh, Adam's got Jack 9 off suit. Looks like, well, man, all of us got those Jacks. Um, J uh, Adam's with a slightly better one. Wow, there's a lot of bad hands here. Okay, nothing really too exciting. Um, first option comes to me. Am I going to go ahead and play the big blind or not? Uh, with jack six, I'm, I'm almost guaranteeing that I'm going to. Uh, I need to make those chips up somehow. Um, all right, so looks like, oh, look, there we go. I get my jack, but you know who else got a jack? James and Adam. And you know who else got, a, who else got another pair? Adam. Adam's got two pair. And I'm just going to be stupid and call his bets until I have no chips left. All right. Oh, I'm going to double his bet. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see his 400 and raise him another 400. And Alicia, she's feeling confident because she's got four cards to the straight. She'll probably just l somehow luck into a straight uh, by just getting a queen or a seven on the turn. Uh, she's just, I mean, now we're just going crazy. Oh, now Adam's betting thousands more is, uh, because he's getting frustrated by the fact that we just won't let him. So now I'm all in, I'm all in. And this is going to get really ugly unless the next two cards are like runner, runner sixes. Uh, this is going to get really ugly really quick. Um, it's going to get super ugly. The only thing that could be worse is if like it's more diamonds come up. Okay, there's the Ace of Hearts. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm all in. So there it is. I, I don't know why. I think I just thought Adam was was bluffing. That was the that was my critical error here. This was just seriously my critical error. Um, I I didn't assume that he had two pair. I assumed that uh, my pair. I thought he had like pair of nines, not a pair of jacks and a pair of nines. Uh, that did not work out in my favor. Uh, so I had to do a rebuy at this point to get it back into the next hand. Uh, so let's see what that looks like. Um, 
Looks like I have seven six off suit. Jack six from James. Robert's got four ace. Jack four for Alicia and uh, Adam with a king ten off suit. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've seen Adam get a bad hand really yet. And even when he has a bad hand, he ends up somehow mashing it, matching it up, or pulling some silly flush or some straight. Um, all right, so there we go. There's Adam getting a pair of tens and everyone getting pairs of jacks except me. I get nothing. So I'm going to fold, hopefully, because I'm not... I don't know. I'm probably stupid enough to play this hand because I'm thinking to myself, yeah, all I need is an eight. I just need an eight, guys. That's worth a thousand bucks, right? No, I, I fold. Thank God. Uh, okay. All right, there's another Jack. Now we got three of a kind on Alicia. See, they get Alicia. Let's see how she plays this. Please, Alicia, please just go all in. No, $400 bet. Why didn't you go all in? You have three of a kind, you have three Jacks. Okay, now I would be kind of concerned. Uh, she, she, she's got 13 bucks left. I mean, she's gonna bet all 13 of it. Uh, eight, nine, 10. Jack, I would have been really concerned about um, the possibility of a straight, but that didn't happen. Um, so I, I guess she could have been concerned, but I don't know if she was. I think she just didn't want to bet her whole stick chip stack because, you know, you just need a chip in a chair. That's all it is. You know, as long as you got a chip in a chair, you can be still in the game. That's what they say, at least, you know, chip in a chair. I, I, the only problem is I like to, I, I feel much more confident being in the chair uh, right behind the button with the most chips at the table. So, you know, people say you just need to chip in a chair. Uh, that, you know, that's a fallacy. Anybody who goes around saying that. All right, next hand here. Uh, let's see, pause it for a second. We got 610 on suit for me. Um, that's always great, right? You know, you're, we got matched pair, but I haven't seen a flush in a while. And even when I get a flush, it gets beaten by a full house. Uh, so I don't know. Uh, King four uh, off suit for James. Ten eight. Um, five three for Alicia. Queen nine for, for Adam. I mean, again, even Queen nine's not a bad hand. I mean, it's off suit, but he's the big blind. I mean, I, I guess it's as good as a hand as I mean. It's I, I take it. I trade him hands right now. I'll tell you right now. I got six ten on suit. I'd still trade him hands pre flop. I mean, interesting variation on poker. If you could like somehow like make a game where you trade hands. All right. So, whoa. See, I'm glad I didn't trade them hands pre-flop because I find myself in this unique position where I have three of a kind. All right. So I check. Not quite sure. What, I mean, I think I was concerned about that king. Um, and then everybody is like betting heavy. Or maybe I was trying to slow play and not not tip my hat too much. Okay, so now they're all going crazy. We're all just like throwing all our chips in the pile. We're all just raising, re-raising, raising. Re this is like three raising, four raising, five raising each other. I I've lost count. We're on like seven raising each other at this point. <laughs> all right. Uh, so I got three tens uh, with a six kicker. Um, and Vendrick has got three tens with an eight kicker. Lucky for me, or not lucky for me, I need I need something a little bit better to come out. I'm just throwing more chips out there. Oh, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. It's not even... Just kill me now. I have all the confidence in the world. I'm going to go throw all my chips out there. Watch. I'm going to go all in. Yep, there we go. All in. That's, that's, there we go. Ah, that sucks. You know, I don't mind losing against a better hand. Um, like a truly better hand. But like when I get beaten because I have a six and they have an eight as the kicker card, that that's a real that's a real gut punch. That's a real like that's like a real fine. How do you do? And uh, I think Robert um, probably got some sort of sick vindication from that. Some sort of sick, you know. Oh, okay, okay. So Alicia's got a pair of fours. Okay, pocket pairs always jump out of the screen at me. Um, I got 710 off suit and I got 144 bucks left after I'm big blinded for 100. 
Um, James the Deviant here. Okay, he's got 6-4 on suit uh, with spades. Uh, Vendrick with a terrible hand. Terrible. 2-4 off suit. Um, okay, well, at least we know where Alicia's other fours are. Um, so that's, that's good for us to analyze. Um, can't, we don't even need to worry about where they're coming because they're already gone. Um, and then Adam with his 10-5. Okay, so finally Adam gets a hand that isn't good or like plausible. Um, I mean, I guess I had 10-6 and it was plausible. So 10-5, 10-7. I get the slight advantage of his hands. <laughs> Not really. With a pair of fours, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure the odds are still in Alicia's favor, except for the fact that all the fours are spoken for at this point. Um, and so I would have to say her, I, I probably eked out a small edge then, um, with 10, seven over her, uh, probably the best hand might even be six, four, um, on suit and spades preflop. Interesting to have like actual percentages here. Okay. So here we go. Nine spades, five clubs, 10 spades. Okay. So I paired up the tens and of course Adam did two, but Adam has two pair now. This is like a very similar situation that I was in before where we where I had the jack and so did he, but he had a nine. So now he's got two pair. I'm all in for the last $44 that I have. And so everyone's going to call this. Uh, all right, there's that six I needed last time um, that I never got. Uh, let's see. Four, five, six. I mean, Alicia's not going to be drawing any straights. Uh, Adam's going to throw out 2200 Alicia should get out of his hand. She should be smart enough to know. Yep, good. She folds. Very good. And, of course, Adam beats me because he had two pair on the flop. Okay, here's the last hand of the night. Okay, so Alicia has uh, King Ace on suit. Okay, the big slick AK on suit with diamonds. Uh, and it looks like Adam went ahead and got two, three on suit or off suit uh he's okay vendrick scott queen two i got i'm sitting out because i'm out of money that's right i'm like wondering where, where's my cards you don't get any cards don't it because you're a loser you lost all your money oh there you go alicia there you go big hand there you got it you can big pre pre-flop raise okay see you know price of poker is going up okay so uh there we have a lot of diamonds, and she's got a thing, as she would say. Yeah, she was, and she's she's gonna just get to let James choke himself because now he's gonna he's gonna feel confident uh, with his three tens, um, his two pair, his full house. Actually, I'm sorry. Uh, so this is actually this is actually bad for Alicia. That really goes to show you you can have a flush, even a really good flush, and and a king and. An ace and king high flush on the flop. And um, that was her chance to go all in. And she should have. That might have scared him out. Uh, um, but then by allowing James just to, you know, pay a small amount to stay in the hand, he felt pretty chip committed. And as time went on, the more chips he put in, the more chip, con more chip committed he was. And then, of course, when um, that, that five came, his pair of tens became two pair. Uh, of course, but the fives were shared with everybody else. But at least he felt he had something. And then, of course, uh, that last ten came up, which then puts him in that full house territory, which just negates the fact that there are three diamonds on the board. So overall, that was some pretty entertaining poker. Guys, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything I said in this video... Um, make sure to leave it as a comment down below. Uh, try to be kind. Don't say anything mean to me. I'm sensitive nowadays, uh, especially after that severe beating I received from the other players in this particular video. <laughs> um, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, make sure to click and click that like button. Pound that big red subscribe button while you're ring-a-ding, ding in that notification bell. Do us a big, 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 big favor and make sweet love that share button. Share this video with all your friends on the interwebs. Uh, and uh, by ringing that notification bell, you will be informed every single time we upload a video to our channel. And you will be informed when we upload part three to this video, which you're going to be recording 
later on tonight. So take care, guys. My name's Dominic. This is the All-American Casino Guide wishing you luck and reminding you, as always, play responsibly.